Let's have a look now at making some further changes to our project and also the drawing list. I'm going to expand the project manager. I'm going to hover there, see the little arrows, click and drag. I'm going to make that bigger so that I can see what I'm doing. It does, unfortunately, in my case, make for me losing screen real estate over here. Not a problem at the moment, but obviously I'm constrained by the resolution I have to use to create these videos. If I was running a nice big dual screen, 27 inch screen environment, wouldn't be an issue. I want to see the project though, and I want to be able to see the drawings in the project. So if I now right click on the project here, what I can do is I can obviously collapse that project. I can go to descriptions, title block update, drawing list report, and so on. I can also sort my drawings. So the primary sort at the moment is reference, secondary sort, and subsort. I can go here like this, and I can do section and subsection if I want to sort by section and subsection. I can sort by file path and name. In this case, it's reference. I can then do a secondary sort by section, subsection, and this goes back to those sections and subsections that I mentioned earlier. So I'll OK that now and leave that as it is for the moment. Now, you'll notice what's happened there is it's updated. Can you see that? And it's updated by reference, and it's kind of changed. The 01 and 02 are at the bottom, and the 07 has gone to the top. Now, we need to sort this out, and we need to tidy things up. So what we're going to look at is changes to the drawings themselves. So I'm going to go to this one here, 007, and then I've got an 07 there. I'm going to right click and go to the drawing properties. I'm going to take the drawing number out like so and leave it blank. And I'm going to leave the sheet as 07. And I'm going to OK that. Now, as soon as I do that, it stays at the top there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the drawing list display configuration. I don't need the drawing number there anymore. That can be removed. I'm going to move the sheet number up to the front. So it's going to be sheet number and then file name. So when I OK that now, you can see now that it sorts differently. But I've still got sheet numbers here. So 01, I go to the properties. And I take that 001 out, like so. And I OK that. And the same with this one. I do the properties there. And I remove that 002. I don't actually need it anymore. Now, as you can see, that's updated. What I need to do is do a refresh as well, just update all of that. And you'll see that all of these have a sheet number. You can see that because it's gone to the front. Now, the sheet number is already built into the drawing itself. And then it's coming under IEC. And then I've got, you'll notice, different naming terminologies there as well. So that drawing configuration might need a little bit more work. So what I can do is I can do sort and sort by reference. What I might do instead is sort by section or subsection or sort by file path and name. Let's try that and see what happens there. As you can see, it changes again because of the different file paths. So I've got to be careful how I set this up. When I do the sort, I've got to make sure that I sort appropriately. So I go for reference or I go for section. If I go for section there, what happens then? Again, different numbering. It updates each time. So you've just got to be careful how you set this up in your project and in your settings. At the moment, it's not really an issue. You can see the sheet number. You can see what the drawing is. However, I can display other information. So let's say, for example, on the bill of materials there, I right click and I go to properties. And what I want to show is some more information. Maybe I want to show there that this is the bill of materials. So I'll actually type that in as a description field, bill of materials like so, and I'll OK that. Now, it won't actually show anything until I actually change the settings of what displays in the project. Do you remember where we went? We went here, didn't we? I've got sheet number and file name. What I need to do is add description one. So I'll add that there at the end and I'll OK that. And it shows bill of materials. So you can actually add a physical description because BOM might not mean anything to somebody. Bill of materials does. Obviously, in this case, BOM, we all know what it stands for. But the idea being is that we can actually apply a text descriptor or description to our drawing so that people can understand what they are. Now, you'll notice 01 and 02 did have descriptions, which were contents and power. So you can see there how this works. You can add information so that people can understand what changes are there, but more importantly, what descriptions are there as well. 
so that you can go in and change them if you need to. So using this further changes exercise here, I've shown you how you can go further in the drawing manager and in the project manager to make sure that everything is showing as it should in the list so it's easily understandable and drawings are easily found. It may be that you need to copy a project and sometimes that has to be done because you're using exactly the same components for let's say another section of a building that is the same as the section you've already done. So let's have a look at that now. If I go to the project tab I've got copy project there like so and also down here have I got copy project here. Let's have a look and see whether it's on the project manager itself. As you can see as I scroll along it isn't. So sometimes you do have options here, but they're not available here and vice versa. So to copy my project, I click on copy there like so. And I need to obviously enter the existing project name. Now, instead of browsing for the WDP file, notice IEC module one is bold. That's telling me that that's the active project. So if I click copy active project, it puts that path straight in. As you can see, it's a long path, saves me having to browse for it. It says, note, if the active drawing is one of those to be copied to a new project, cancel now, open a different or new drawing and restart this command. If I click on OK now, I've got a drawing open. I've got drawing five open there, IEC control. As soon as I do that, it asks me to select a path and a name for the new project. I'm going to go up one level and I'm going to call this IEC module. And what I'm doing there is that's the actual WDP file. So I'm going to call it IEC module one, and then I'm just going to put a dash and call it copy, like so. And there it is, WDP. I'll save that. And as soon as I do that, you can see there, there's the information. All my drawings are there. So I'm just going to say that I want all of them to go across. Now, obviously, you can filter by section, subsection. We've already covered that. So you understand that we can do that. If I click on OK now, I've gone all the way through that. And the active drawing is one that is listed to be copied. So I have to cancel that now and start all over again. I need to close my IEC control PLC drawing. So I can click on close here. And I'm now back to AutoCAD Electrical. But obviously, I need to open up a new sheet. So I go new. I'll just go for the AutoCAD Electrical DWT there, or the IEC in this case, because obviously it's metric. And that opens up like so. So once that's opened up, I've got a blank drawing open. I don't have to use that drawing, but I have to have a blank drawing open to do the copy of the project. Now, the good thing is none of my drawings are open. None of them are highlighted, but the project is active. So now if I click on copy, copy active project, there's the file path, click on OK. Now I need to create a new folder. I'm going to go up one level, got IEC module one there, but I want IEC module one copy. So I'm going to create a new folder to put it in first. And my new folder is there. So I just need to rename that now. It takes a few seconds. And I'll just do a rename there. And I'll call that IEC-Module1-Copy. Slightly different typing there, but again, this is just a demo folder to show you that I'm going to save that in there. So I'm going to go in there. Because I typed that in previously, I can go and find a file. It's a big, long path, though. So I'll just type it in. So I'll type IEC module one dash copy like so. And that's the WDP file. So I'll click on save and that saves that in my copy folder. Now I can select all the drawings again. Obviously, I could reset that and do it by section or subsection. I just want them all to come across purely for this training exercise. So I'll click on OK. This time I haven't had that cancel because a drawing is open. Copies of the drawing will be copied to the new path. If the directory path does not exist, it will be created for any new drawings. So when I click on OK, there's all my drawings. It's a big, long path. So I do need to scroll all the way across here like that to check my drawing names. But if you look at those drawing names and the drawing paths, there's the drawing names at the end, DWGs. But look at the folders. Can you see there's the drawings folder, IEC module one copy. I can find and replace any drawings that I might need to remove or update, and I can also include the drawing path there if I need to. In this case, I don't need to because I know that all my drawings need to go across. So I'm going to click on OK. It takes a few seconds to do this, mind. It updates, and you'll see now that not only has it opened up 
the new project. Can you see there? It's now the most current project. It's active. But it's also opened up the contents drawing, which is the first drawing. Now, if I right click there and remember to check all of my sort and so on, and then I'll just escape that. The other thing I need to check list display configuration. So I've got sheet number there. I need to make sure that sheet number is shown. So there's sheet number. I'm going to actually remove that and then I'm going to add it again. So sheet number and then add that again. I'm going to move it up like so and OK that. And as soon as I do that, it updates. Now you will need to do that. When you do a project copy, you need to update things like your sheets and so on to make sure that everything is where it should be. So your sheet numbers are in the right place, your drawing list descriptions are right and so on. So always do a sanity check and make sure that that's all okay once you've done a project copy in the project manager.